Shout out Sniper T on the beat. Tamara to the break of dawn is on the rise with life on the forefront of the mind. So line for line, you can ride this brain train and you can change your station without even touching the dial. So relax, stay a little bit, but listen for a while. And whether you're bumping this in the whip or in a business fit, it's a meeting you won't want to miss. A meeting for a meal to feed the soul with words for the mind. So sit back, enjoy the ride. Time to take off, it's time to fly. Cause Tamara to the break of dawn is on the rise. Hey, 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 y'all. It's me, Tamara. <laughs> Yeah, studio audience, you always make it do what it do, 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 baby. Yes. Woo, y'all, I know I'm late, but I'm not as late as I was last week. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome to the show. All that good stuff. All right, cool. So when I tell y'all that, man, it's like the past month and I am not one of those like yesterday sucks. So today sucks. Well, sucks. Because literally, at the time of this recording, shout out, yesterday was terrible, and we'll get into that. But like for the past month, every Monday has been really, really difficult, maybe like three to four weeks. Every Monday has been really, really difficult, right? And this week, every day has been difficult. Like today is the first day that isn't as terrible as every other day was, which is why This episode is late, but my motto is, as long as y'all get it, even if it's a little late, it just kind of is what it is, just because this week was terrible. Like, um, now granted, there have been some deaths this week that have really affected the city, honestly, in tragic ways. One was somebody that I know was killed, and he was killed, like, shielding his kids from gunfire, and I don't even understand why anybody was shooting at the house and all of that anyways. So I found that out Sunday morning. And then Monday, um, my it's somebody that I'll still say they're my goddaughter. Like, we're not quite as close as we used to be when they were, like, in junior high, high school and all that. But we still keep in contact mainly by social media. But um, her daughter went to daycare and the daycare driver for whatever reason left the baby on the van all day it was hot as hell this week on monday tuesday and wednesday like literally heat advisories and the baby died so like this week has been heavy because i am such an empath and these deaths affect people that i am really close to you know what i mean and so um families and then like a lot of the people know both of the families and it's just it's just a lot right so there's that and then I have my own stuff going on that just a lot of different things so there's really not one thing this week that has made this week so terrible but I would say the deaths have made it worse because like bruh the way that they died and just it's just crazy, but yesterday was a day where I went to the gym, and I have really been trying to be intentional about going to the gym four days a week, and so that's part of why, if you follow me on Instagram and you watch my stories, that's why I post that on there. I try to have some sort of like public accountability. Nobody asked for this. I have an actual regular accountability partner who goes to the gym, so she knows when I'm going. And then also, if I don't show up for a while, I found that I will get a text from somebody because that kind of happened where I had a couple of weeks where I, mm, it probably was longer than a couple of weeks where I didn't go. And then I got a text like, hey, where you been? And I was like, oh, like, I just didn't expect that. And it just, and now I've really like, feel like more a part of the community. Um, And so, yeah, but anyways, um, so I try to do that four days a week. So I went to the gym yesterday. I came home, ate, showered, and then I just remember I wasn't even dressed yet, right? And just laying in my bed and I just literally could not do anything. And it's crazy because I'm gonna be very transparent about some of the thoughts that I've had this week. 
but understand that when I share that, like I'm okay. So I'm not like, I'm just sharing thoughts that I have y'all that know, know that I talk about my life, what I'm going through, how I'm trying to grow. If you're new, that's the premise of the show. So I'm not in like a crisis when I say what I'm about to say, but these are the thoughts that I've had. So like, I don't know, especially because um, Lamont, that's the name of the person who was killed, because he was killed in front of his kids. And if you know anything about my life, you know that my daughters, so their dad was killed eight years ago. Now, he wasn't killed in front of them, but whenever a, especially a father is killed due to some sort of gun violence, it just really triggers my own grief, right? But then it's like, this is somebody that I knew. Um, I used to work at the Hope Center. Those of you who live here, you know what that is. And that's when I met this person. Um, He wasn't a member. He was an adult. But they had this basketball thing. And that's where I would see him. But then also, he had a lawn business. And so there was a point in time he was the person doing my lawn. Extremely respectful, but that aside, like really did well with what he was doing. Like he was good at my yard, but very much like, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, just very nice, all that stuff. But he's also related to my brother-in-law. So there's that. Um, So there's, it's just, I don't know. It's just, that's crazy in and of itself. But then also, you know, my, ah, And I hope I say her name right. I know how it's spelled. I want to say it's Ramaya, but it could be Ramia. So I apologize if I'm saying that wrong. But that's the, she wasn't even 18 months old yet. That's the baby who um, was left in the daycare van. And I just, like, that, and you may have seen it on the news in your city at this point, because I've heard and seen where people in different states, like this has become this nationwide thing because this was a licensed daycare. So this wasn't just like, oh, somebody's cousin was watching the kid. This was like a, I don't know if y'all know what Title 20 is, but you have to, you're supposed to have certain pro, uh, procedures and um, statutes. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. You're supposed to have certain things that you're supposed to do to be Title 20 approved through. Douglas um, Department of Health and Human Services, excuse me. So like this was a licensed daycare. This should not have happened. And both of my daughters either currently work in child care or did. And so I've talked to Kayliana about this, especially like as she's pregnant and already was not really wanting to send her son to get daycare anyway. So this really like solidified it for her, her and her boyfriend. But like talking to her, she, even she's like, I mean, there's supposed to be checklists. There's supposed to be this, that, and the other. I don't understand how this happened, but to, to know that like, it was as hot as it was. Like, I just, I don't understand. Yeah. So like that has just triggered so much this week, whereas I was already struggling with other things. And I just like yesterday found myself like I'm just tired. Like I just thought about a lot of the stuff that we've endured a lot. And yes, I've overcome it. But in some ways, it seems like I kind of just go through the same, not exactly the same thing. And mind you, I was super just overcome with so many emotions yesterday. But just feeling like I just go through the same old, same old over and over and over again. Is that true? No, but that's how my thoughts were spiraling. And um, I'm tired. Like, I'm just, (laughs) Jesus, just come get me. Like, now I wasn't like, oh, I'm about to kill myself. But I really was just on some, man, this life is wild. And this world is insane. And I just was on some, like, "I'm, I'm tired. I'm done. And with that, what I love about, and this is why my relationship with the Lord is so important. In that moment, I did not reach out to anybody. Now, I know I have tons of people who love me. So this isn't, don't say, I don't need y'all to say like, oh, if whatever, reach out. I know I have so many people that I could reach out to if I, if I wanted to. 
but I did not need that. I literally actually needed to really detach from everyone else because if you you uh you don't really know the subcontracting work that I do, but I deal with a lot of people in crisis and it's kind of been that way my entire career and just dealing with people and like having a heart for people. I have always had a heart for people, even before I got paid to have a heart for people. And so um, I don't know. I just I needed to detach from everything yesterday and I, I really just needed to laugh. So shout out to the people. And there's this group chat that I have with a couple of my friends. Well, now it's a couple. It used to be four of us, but now it's down to three. But shout out to them because, like, in moments like that, I really just need to laugh. Some like, yes, I sat. Gizmo was with me. I was. I didn't even read my Bible yesterday. I, actually, yeah, last night I did. Like late last night. So I was just like listening to worship music, prayed laid around, processed my thoughts. Literally, like I said, I did not get dressed after I got out the shower. I like lotion my body, put on a bra and panties and just like laid in the bed. I was supposed to get dressed, but it just didn't happen that way. And it is what it is. Like I, ha- I just really realized that for the past, I don't know how many years, I really haven't felt okay to rest. Now, that sounds crazy cuz I always talk about the importance of a rest day and I do have a rest day, right? So I do have a day that I don't work. But I mean, I don't know, I can't explain it like I just yeah, all I can say is I there's always so much going on, I should say, where I don't necessarily feel like I can fully be at ease because my mind oftentimes doesn't know how to shut down and like not think about the 50 million things that either I'm responsible for. And this is before I had a company or just that's going on. Like that's how really the past eight years has been. And so I think that's a lot of what was going on yesterday is just like reflecting again, grief, and trauma and tragedy will trigger so many different emotions and feelings and thoughts and and even maybe even unresolved stuff. I had some really interesting conversations with the Lord the past few days. But the good thing is that on the other side of that, while maybe certain things in certain situations didn't change, this is why I'm such a huge promoter of making sure that you are spiritually healthy, whatever that looks like for you. So for me, it is my relationship with the Lord. So like the honest conversations I had with him this week, the crying, like, I mean, dude, y'all listen, I did not, I used to be somebody that barely cried and I cry a lot now and have to catch myself and stop myself from crying a lot now. And I guess this is just who I am as a person now. So I've accepted it. But like all of that, like the conversation, the crying and all of that, if nothing else, it released the blah that I was feeling. I felt like so weighed down. And this is why I made sure that I went to the gym. I just went to a later class. Like now that my schedule is different and like freer in the mornings right now, I've been going to a 930 class instead of the 730 or 830. That way I feel like I don't have to like jump up and go to the gym. Right. And so then it's ensured that even this week, while it's been a struggle, if nothing else, I did that. Right. And sweat it out because we know endorphins is really good for like your mental health and all this stuff. And this is why a lot of times when you go to therapy or stuff like that, they'll suggest some sort of exercise, be it just going for a walk or whatever. And so it's like on the other side of yesterday, because it's so interesting how, because I'm so self-aware, I know that while everything isn't always the same with me, there are some things that I just kind of notice, like, like once I hit this point where I don't go to work or whatever, like I literally did nothing yesterday 
except went to the gym, ate, like washed my uh, sheets and all that stuff. And that's it. Besides sit around with Gizmo. And I'm sure he was happy because he got to be free all day yesterday. But I literally did nothing. Um, When I hit points like that to where I'm not sick, but I just, I can't, right? Usually, and this is what happened yesterday, I have different conversation with the Lord, but it's kind of been that all week. Yesterday was just the only day that I just literally was like, I can't. And then on the other side of that, I usually, I'm not going to say I'm good, like, oh, everything's better, da, da, da. But I feel better today and woke up less weighed down today than I had felt all this week. Now, are things still sad and all of that? Yeah, but I needed that time to kind of like just have for me and process my my own stuff and and not have anybody else's voice or thoughts or whatever. And the thing about it is I trust that there are people out there in the world cuz again I am very very fortunate to be a part of such like a great community of people um with my church but especially like no I can't even say just the creative team although that too but the church that I'm a part of the small groups that I'm a part of and all of that and just the people that care about me and just me trusting that the Lord knows how to put me on somebody's heart if needed, just like he'll put people on my heart and I'll pray for them, even though I may not tell them. So like, I just really felt like, yes, this week has been a week where even though it's been heavy and it's been difficult, it's been whatever. And I did ask for prayer um, in our church's prayer thing, like, hey, these deaths have happened. Please pray for these families, but also pray for my heart. So I know like there are people praying for me anyway. But beyond that, I really just know that I, this is just something I needed to kind of go through on my own. And and I don't mean that in a, like, a, yeah, I don't know how else to say that. I just know it's something that it needed to be like me and the Lord and me just go to him and me just talk to him about, you know, whatever. And yeah, and then today is like I try to go like, not try, I go four days a week. And I've kind of been pretty good at that for the past few weeks when I made that decision that I want to really go four days a week. And so today's, a, and it's so funny, I try not to miss Mondays. And if unless I have something to where I really can't go to any of the classes Mondays, I definitely go Monday. But this week, I went Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I knew that today was going to be a day that I was going to miss because I had small group this morning and then Kayliana was supposed to have a prename, but blah, whatever. She was supposed to have an appointment, but, um, we didn't, she didn't. And so, um, I'm going to go tomorrow instead. And so I kind of between Monday through Friday, between Monday through Saturday, cause last week I went on Saturday I think, I don't know, something, but I'm going to go four days, right? But today was a day that I was like, I'm not going to go because I didn't think I would be able to go. And I'm glad that I haven't because I am going to go work later, but um, I've kind of still, I think, needed this time this morning to just kind of just be by myself. And it's just crazy because Kayliana hasn't really been here excuse me Devon hasn't really been here like he's been more in and out but more out than in and then Janae doesn't live here so then it's just me and Gizmo in the house and I've kind of needed that this week you know what I mean just to I'm not an extrovert I do a lot of extroverted things I pour my life out to people everything in my life is evolve everything in my life revolves around dealing with people, but I am not an extrovert. People do not rejuvenate me. Time by myself is actually what rejuvenates me. So I have needed this week, um, these past few days, I should say, of like kind of not really peopling much because I've done a lot of peopling the past several weeks. Um, So I really very much appreciate the fact that I, especially yesterday, aside from texting people 
did I even talk on the phone to anybody? I think I did talk on the phone to Kayliana, but I don't even know. Maybe. I don't know. But besides that, that's been my week, y'all. But like I said, I am okay. This is not like a cry for help episode. I can't fathom that I would actually ever do an episode like that because if there was really a cry for help, there are so many people that I could reach out to. Like, I know that. So again, understand that when I say I needed to go through this by myself, it's not because there are not people who are not really willing to walk through stuff with me. It's just for whatever reason, I know that this week I just needed to press in, let my roots grow deeper with the Lord and all this stuff. And yeah, so that is this episode that I have for y'all this week. Technically, this episode isn't super late because it's still going to drop on Thursday. Um, thank you so much to everyone who tunes in every week, even when I'm late. Thank you for your support. Make sure that you take care of yourself mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. Be healthy in your relationship. Address your triggers, right? Process the issues of your heart because I've had a lot of conversations with people lately where they, um, I will say, and not every conversation I've had, but I've had a lot of conversations with people lately where their triggers are the lens that they are experiencing an interaction with somebody through. And then as a result of that, they are maybe um, kind of receiving and processing the, the interaction maybe in a way that wasn't intended by the other person involved. And so it's so important. Like I talk about these things all the time. And these are things that I have to actively do. If you deal with people, you are going to have to make sure that you are healthy mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, physically too, you know what I'm saying? But so that you can be healthy in your relationships, because we all have so much stuff going on. You don't know what somebody's walking through. And then you have your own junk, right? And so then somebody may be joking or somebody may say something in their mind. They are not trying to be offensive at all. And then you take it that way because of other stuff you've been through in the past that it kind of seems like this, but it's not like I've had a lot of conversations like that with people lately. And my encouragement every time is also process your own stuff first. Then once you figure that out, decide if it's a conversation you need to have or not. You know what I mean? Because I'm very much a, if you have an issue with somebody, and I tell people all the time, like, just tell me straight up so I can correct the behavior or whatever if I did something to offend you. I'm not really good at context clues always because, you know, it just may go right on over my head. You have to be pretty, like, direct with me. So. That is my encouragement to y'all. I love y'all so much. Thank you for tuning in, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Ladies and gents, this concludes transmission. Tune in next time for a whole new edition, another adventure and mission to share, be heard, and clarify the vision of this whole new world for Tamra.